So, so what took you from doing good, really good, four deals, 30 uh, deals, 30 deals, something like that? What took you from that to doing 100 plus? Dina Myers. Dina Myers. Yep. She was twice my age. I was, um, I had my desk. They gave me one space, right? And I was overflowing. They wouldn't give me more space. And um, I was on the floor. So I just encroached into the aisle, encroached onto the floor until they deemed me a fire hazard. Seriously, they did. They, they, <laughs> they deemed me a fire hazard because I had my pile. Was that next to your bed? Um, <laughs> next to <next> next <laughs> You know what I would do in the office is I would just lay down on the floor behind my desk and take a cat nap. So, um, uh, so one day, and I, I'm, I work better on the floor. I like to just spread out and sit on the floor. It's easier for me. Right. So... Um, she was twice my age, and she came up to me, and I'm in my early 20s, and she has her hands on her hips, and she's looking down at me, and she says, you need my help. She's an agent in the office. And I, I looked up at her, and I was like, well, how, how am I going to pay you? What if I don't do another deal? I, my business isn't, I don't feel like it's stable. Right. And um, she was going through a divorce, and she had been in the business for a long time, and it takes so much energy to cultivate business, and she wanted more. So is this three, four years on? Maybe... Maybe three. Three years in. Could, somewhere around there. So you, you 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 still had that sense of insecurity. Oh, completely. Yeah. yeah you absolutely. didn't. You you still hadn't felt like uh, I'm in control no. of what happens. No, it's no, always no, like. No, I was still. There's still chance. a huge learning curve. Yeah. Um. And and again, keep in mind, it's not like I came in from. <clears throat> Um, where where my my curve of learning business in general was here, and I'd been at a company for ten years, and right. I really understood. Now I'm just changing lanes. Right. I was a kid. I was green. I didn't understand business. Thank God, huh? Oh my, yeah, probably because <laughs> it did. I didn't have any preconceived right. issues. Right. So she said, um, "I need you. You need me. Just pay me for ninety days, and we'll take it from there." I was like, "Okay, I can deal with ninety days, right? I'm not committed to you for life. We're right. not getting married here. It's just ninety days." Right. And then after ninety, she freed me up so much that I didn't. I I, I was staying till one or two in the morning to because you know I'd work on the on the business, in the business, during the day, and on the business at night. You, right. Who's going to do the files? You call in gonna night. Follow, oh, oh. oh, like who's following up on the process? Who's following Got up it. on the contracts? Who's doing the paperwork? Right. There was no TCs. I right. was the TC. Like we were, we did it all. Right. So I had to do work with the clients during the day and work on it at night. Right. So she's like, I can do the, the TC part. She didn't call it TC, but I can right. help you with that. The paperwork and yeah. get organized. So this way you can go home earlier. Okay. So you can get get organized. You're not going to be on your right. stuff in the floor. So um, after 90 days, it freed me up so much that I still stayed till one or two in the morning, but I was right. able to take it to the next level. Right. And then we hired another person. And, we, and then I realized, ah, this is how you leverage. Right. And it was leveraging more because it doesn't, it doesn't help the client if I'm the 